All right, so our first question is, they want your opinion of cryotherapy. So you've obviously referred patients, I know. So what was your experience with that? So yeah, just to be clear, cryotherapy is, um, they put little probes in the prostate and then freeze, create an ice ball. And the, uh, it's been around a long time, it works. Uh, cure rates in the hands of experts are excellent. Uh, it never really got super popular because if you freeze the whole prostate, almost everyone becomes impotent. And of course the numbers aren't great with surgery or radiation, but some people make it through with surgery and radiation. Really no one makes it through when, um, when whole gland cryotherapy is done. Mm -hmm. But the uh, cryotherapy methodology does set up well for doing focal treatments. So rather than trying to freeze the whole prostate, just freezing the area of where the cancer is, is feasible in skilled hands. And uh, we've worked a lot with a specialist out in Ventura, California named Dr. Duke Bahn, B-A-H-N, who uh, is an interventional radiologist. And I think that's really an important thing whenever you talk about focal therapy. Uh, the imaging skills that are necessary to see where the cancer is in the prostate uh, are, are really tricky and, and you need someone who's very good at it. And uh, then, of course, they have to have good hand-eye coordination and good common sense about how big a margin to put around this spot. And uh, so we've had a number of patients through the years have really good results in the hands of Dr. Bond. And I'm sure there are other good cryosurgeons throughout the country that can do good focal cryotherapy uh, in carefully selected patients. So it's a, uh, it's a nice technique. You have to have a catheter in for about three or four or five days after the procedure. Uh, which then is removed, and, and people generally do well. The men that are getting focal cryotherapy still have a risk of erectile dysfunction. It's probably in the range of uh, 10 to 20 percent. So it's not a get out of jail free card, but it's pretty effective, and the cure rates seem durable. Okay. Yeah. I was reading on the Mayo Clinic website, they were talking about that there um, is a chance of some urethral blockage. Um, have you seen that in any of the patients? So that's the reason for the catheter. So when you go in and, and freeze a section of the prostate, there's a lot of swelling for about a week afterwards. And if that uh, swelling puts pressure on the urinary passage, the urethra, then you can have blockage. And so as a preemptive or a preventative methodology, they leave a catheter in for about a week, wait for the swelling to die down and then remove the catheter. And I haven't seen any problems with uh, uh, blockage as a result. Okay. Yeah. And you mentioned erectile dysfunction as a side effect. Are there any other side effects that patients should be aware of? I think the other side effects would be mostly in the hands of unskilled doctors. So if the doctor were to freeze into the bladder or the rectum, you've got a total disaster on your hands. Uh, I have never seen that in Dr. Bond's hand. He's probably one of the best in the world. So like so many things in the prostate cancer world, you really want to search out your experts, find the people really that are on top of their game. And uh, then the toxicity from focal cryo should be limited to some erectile dysfunction in some patients. Uh, of course, there's an operative procedure. You go in the hospital and rarely mistakes can be made of all sorts when you go to the hospital. But, um, the, um, but no, apart from the erectile dysfunction, that's about it. Okay. And in comparison to other treatments for that stage of, you know, using it as a focal treatment, what would you suggest? Do you think cryo is better than IMRT or anything else? The methodology, in my opinion, is much less important than the doctor who's doing it. Uh, so much judgment and skill that's required in, in hitting these little tiny targets and trying to miss the very sensitive structures that are so close. So I'm not for or against any of these other methodologies uh, per se. We've... Um, Worked with a lot of radiation therapists to do focal radiation. The radiation doctors are trained from the get-go in targeting, and uh, radiation is the one form of treatment that doesn't destroy the tissue the way that cryo and hyfu and laser do. It just paints some radiation over the normal tissue, and uh, so it leaves the prostate intact. And uh, I don't know if that will translate into maybe a slightly lower incidence of side effects or not. There are no studies yet, but uh, I think the thing to remember is Pick the doctor, not the treatment. Yeah, I wish that was kind of shouted from the rooftops, and I think PCRI is, is continuing to pound the drum, but we'll continue to do it louder in the future. 
Um, I don't see many people on the internet who are sitting there studying doctors versus treatments. And so, yeah. So, I mean, let's talk just briefly about that. So online reviews seem to be helpful. Um, Support groups that are in the geographic area of a doctor you're considering. Visit them. Talk to the patients that have had care through those physicians. Uh, people develop a uh, reputation over time. Primary care physicians that are referring a significant number of patients may have some sense of how they're turning out if they send a goodly number of people to a specific doctor. So those are all ways to try and check out how good a doctor really is. Right, right. So if you have questions that you would like me to ask Dr. Scholes in the future, you can go ahead and leave that in the YouTube comments below and we will pick them up from there. And in the meantime, if you have more questions that you would like to ask to a person, somebody who can talk to you about your prostate cancer case as an individual, our helpline is available to you. And you can go ahead and uh, submit your questions at pcri.org. For more information about prostate cancer in general, you could also visit our website and please subscribe to our videos, like, and give us a big thumbs up if you think uh, that these are good and you would like to see these in the future. And as always, we love you very much and we will see you next week.